www.noodlebuzz.com. Name's Ty, and on this video tutorial, I'm going to show you in how you can embed a tweet or a Twitter tweet on a website or a blog site. Uh, here's how that tweet would look like. Uh, take a look here. This is a WordPress post uh, on Noodleboss site, and here's the text. And this is the tweet part. Uh, if you notice at first, if you don't hover or anything, you would it would look like just a JPEG file, all right. On a darker background, it would surface more, uh, being seen like uh, some sort of a different element, not just a JPEG element. But here. It looks like a JPEG because of the background, but again, it's interactive. If you hover on that, you can click on a link, you can click on follow, you can click on here, you can click here, 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 and there. So it's not a JPEG, it's actually using a source code. So uh, the reason what I'm trying to point out here is that using uh, this, if this is your own uh, Tweet account, or this would be a backing support for the info that you're trying to post to your website. Also, if this is your own Twitter feed, they could directly cl uh, click on follow, and then from there, they don't have to go to your Twitter account for them to follow you. So, a similar purpose that would somehow help you in your blog revenue. So, again, it would look like that. So, how? I'm going to show you the code. Uh, I'm on my WordPress panel now, so the edit button is active. Edit that post, go to that part where it says um, it's it's under a block quotation. So here, block code. This is the code itself, the whole code right here. So I'm not going to remove them because this is an active post. So it would look like that. So how are you going to get that? Uh, there are people. Um, or having difficulties like me at first when I started out. Uh, so let's just go to whatever tweet you'd want to include to your site. Let's just go to this um, uh, Twitter account. Let's select a post here. All right. So taking a look at from here, you don't actually have an embed button, right, or an embed code or anything. So what you do, click on that. Or select a post and from this you again don't get anything so one more time select another post and look up for something that says details so it's just going to be one two three select the post and look up for details from the post that you want to embed and it's going to give you to that specific uh, page where the tweet is on solo no other tweets included in there so again, this is that, and look up only for something that says embed this tweet. Click on that. It's going to give you HTML code for the platform, short code, you could use that too, and a link code for linking. So from here, you could also check out and select alignments. Uh, if you're, if you want to embed that to go on the left side, go on the right side, or go on the center, it would also uh, here it would also add a code right in there. It's it's gonna change that and it's gonna add a center code. It's gonna refresh that. It's gonna add a right code. Click on left. It's gonna add left code. Click on none. It's gonna give you plain. Now on none, just select that if you're an advanced user because you could create more. Like if your base code here is using the center code for all the elements. And then you use a right or left, it would somehow affect that if you're using the older platform. So using the base code without alignments, using controls on your websites, left and right, would also do. But it's up to you. It's up to you and how you'd want to embed that, how you'd want to make that look on your site. So again, uh, select that, control A, control C, and um, Let's say you're using WordPress or using just plain HTML, using whatever blog engine that you have. Try to create a new post 
and it's going to give you your um, post page just paste that in there add text something here and something there to describe add a title or you know how to do post for WordPress and for your blog just just add this so from there block code uh, block code and you get a support script here for scripting and just click on publish I'm not going to publish that because I'm using the live server so subscribers might see this on testing so again just just that and if you publish that the way it would look like is just exactly the same like the one I showed you earlier here it would look exactly like this it's gonna take a little time to load though because it's trying to pull that from the Twitter server guess the internet is um, yep there you go alright so here it will preload and in there so if you save this it's gonna look like this the only difference is the content though so it's not a JPEG again it's an interactive um, tool that would help you a lot in creating uh, backlink supports and info support for this if you're using a, a something that would need a backup info from the person who created a tweet or from a company who created a tweet and you got a follow button in there all right so again uh one second uh, what more did I yeah so that's 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 <laughs> that's about it all right so for more of the videos uh we've created you can check out www.noodleboss.com and on our youtube channel uh, noodleworks youtube.com slash noodleworks again my name is Ty thanks for watching